A clinical psychologist who has conducted sex research for some 30 years hammered studies used to justify gender therapy. James Cantor of Toronto said he read the approximately 20 major reviews of studies on gender dysphoria. Every one of the systematic reviews came up with exactly the same conclusion. Uh, we have uh, an enormous area of, uh, 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 of unknowns, and the uh, risks are well documented, you know, up through and including the sterility of the, uh, of the children, but without any evidence uh, uh, of benefits that say that the risks are worth it. He was highly critical of several of the gender studies, calling them sloppy. One of the reasons? Politics has intruded. Now that the politics have become uh, so extreme on both sides, it's very, very difficult to get any kind of an objective measure uh, uh, with what's going on. Plus, Cantor challenged the notion that gender transition reduces suicide. He said the rate is about the same afterward as it is before. Before the first state witness testified, Deputy Attorney General Eric Clark asked the judge to dismiss the case filed by the ACLU. Judge Michael Holbrook took the request under advisement. Attorneys could submit written arguments by noon Thursday. Fred Levinson, the Ohio ACLU's top lawyer, said such requests are common and will lose. We've put forth uh, um, our, our, our witnesses, our plaintiffs, and our experts, and we've demonstrated that gender-affirming care is uh, safe, effective, it's needed, it's medically needed, essential for, for uh, adolescents uh, diagnosed with gender dysphoria. For Six on Your Side, Daryl Rowland, ABC6 News.